welcome to today's video. So in today's video I'm going to show you my art book collection and just flipping through a little bit. So let's get into it. So this one as well as this one actually came with the games and this is actually the case of the game so the person that gave this to me <laughs> kindly gave up the case the cd case and put their game in a separate cd case so i could have the book because there's some pretty cool art in here and usually if you don't really are into art or whatever maybe you don't care much about looking at this again you probably just flip through it one time and then it just gets dusty somewhere in your bookshelf so that person gave these two to me so i could look at the art and just use it for like studies because I like to use a lot of these books to just look at the pictures and just like kind of analyzing how the composition is, how the colors work, how they were painted. So yeah, there's some cool art in these two. This one is really cool. Let me see, just, there was one that I really, this one, this spread I really like, like this is so detailed and this just has like a really cool composition. So I really like Tomb Raider and I really really want to get the big art book for, yeah for this one. Is it Rise of the Tomb Raider? It's the art book for this game, because I know that's the cover of the game. So next up is this, and this is not really a book, it's just like a spiral bound, like, it's like a notepad, kind of. And it's Sketch Workshop Anatomy. And what is really cool about this, is that it shows you like it's kind of a tutorial about how to draw and then you have these like templates and you can just draw over them like you're supposed to actually draw in this I just really haven't used it yet I mostly just looked at the instructions but I haven't actually used these as you can see Next up is this one and that's in this one is in Portuguese because as you may or may not know I am actually Portuguese so I can actually talk and like speak Portuguese read and write in Portuguese as well so this I bought when I was on holidays and visiting my family and I just really like how this goes over like the materials and it just gives a few examples and there are like step-by-step -step tutorials. It goes over different like painting styles and then you have like really really in-depth like tutorials like this one I don't like all of them because for example I don't like this example because that for me would be more like a sketch and not a finished art piece I just don't really like this page so much but I really like this one and this one because I also don't really need much background for me. I, I sometimes have characters that don't have a background at all, even though I'm trying to get better at that and have more backgrounds when I do characters so that they're not just floating on a white page. Oh yeah, that one was 
a really cool one. one. And it comes with a CD that I still haven't looked into. And I have this, like I've had this art book for probably two years now, I think. So next up is this one. I think it's more of like geared towards more like beginner artists. So I do know a lot of things that are in here already, but it's nice to just refresh that memory. Even if you draw like a lot, you sometimes tend to forget like the basics. And for example, this spread right here is something that I constantly forget even though I probably sketch like every other day or like I am really bad at doing thumbnails. <laughs> I rarely do a thumbnail of a drawing. I just tend to just go in with the idea I had initially and just don't even think about other ways to position a character or something. I really need to get better at that. I'm not sure if my pose, like if the poses of my characters, like the silhouette, is clear in all of my drawings. Probably not. But like the silhouette of a character is nothing that I really thought about when I, whenever I just draw. I don't really think about the silhouette which I think it's a really cool thing to like just think about and remember. That's also something I tend to forget a lot with my art because I just outline everything with like one line weight throughout the piece because then I'm just going to color it and just shade and whatever and I don't think about the lines. I just don't know why but I just tend to forget <laughs> the line weight overall. I just line the whole piece and then just color it and don't think about it. This is another spread that is really helpful for me because I also tend to choose like my E50 and E53 or like E11 like these kinds of markers for skin tones it's I think I've never done a really light or a really dark skin tone I just always use like E50 or E53 and this is really helpful just to be like, okay, today I want to do more like this skin tone or this one or whatever. And it's really, really helpful that there are the actual Copic colors listed in here because I do have Copics myself. So I can just cross reference them and just pick the exact colors I need to achieve that look. And as I said before, like this, like without these ones, like these three up top are the ones that I usually use. And it's like always these three. Next up is the Creating Characters book by Jezza and this is just really nice if you're into creating characters yourself, which I want to do a lot more of. And he talks about like shapes, he talks about everything basically. And this is like a page I love when he just thinks of, like brainstorms different ideas for one character. I just love these like sketchy pages even when he does like the character design sessions on YouTube I love the part where you can see the different designs he thought of and then decided for like one or two and then see the final image then here 
just some expressions, which I'm really bad at. And here's another spread of like my favorite pages in this book. First of all, I loved the Telltale animation. I watched it more than once. And as I said before, I just really like the development, like the stages he went through until he creates a final character. I just really love his like brainstorming process and how he puts the character together. So that's this one. Then we have Color and Light. And this covers a lot of like, as the name of the book suggests, it explains a lot about lighting. And I'm just going to flip through and show you some of my like most favorite pages. This one was really fascinating because as you can see, it's like one, two and three, like this is square one, this is two and this is three. And this is actually the white, like when you look at the picture, you say like, yeah, that's a white sheet, but in a shadow and that's a black shirt when the light reflects on it. But if you would put the colors that were directly picked from this image next to each other, you wouldn't say that this is supposed to be a white newspaper in the final picture. So this was really interesting to me. about animals which I don't ever draw I don't think I have any video on my channel where I draw an animal for this one and probably the following ones I am also just going to flip through the pages I like most how this book talks about like movement and how to create the movement with the like various lines I was so excited when I got this because I really really like the art by Thomas Kincaid and oh my god he he just has a really 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 nice like style so these are some of the pages that I like most out of this book and this book does have a lot of text it's not like just pictures, it's also quite a bit of text to read through, which I really like. But I'm just going to like flip through the pages that I personally like a lot. 
like I do really like these like cottage like in the woods I just think it's very it's a very calming piece I don't know why I just really like these ones I'm not a big fan of paintings of cities names of all these books down in the description box if you want to check them out. So next is the sketchbook of Lois that I just got because <laughs> the Kickstarter was last year so the books were shipped out like a month ago or something. I just really really like her art in general. I also have the art of Lowish, which you will see in a second. But this is like my favorite drawing that she did in like the last few months, I think. This one is my favorite by far. I also like that there's like thumbnails and just kind of like tutorial how to construct the figure, detail sketch and everything. It's just a really nice book. As well as this one, The Art of Lowish Behind the Scenes. This one has like more finished art in it obviously since the the other one is the sketchbook and this one is the art book and this is like this was my or is my favorite drawing by her I actually have a print of this on my wall and I also really like this one is a art book of a game and I want to get more of these and I really like games in general like I'm not a gamer and I'm really bad at gaming like I'm such a noob I die in like three seconds in the game I'm dead but I do like to like watch let's plays and stuff like that because I do really like gaming, like the games and everything. I'm just really bad at playing myself. So I tend to just prefer watching others play and looking at the art in the art books. So yeah, that's that. But still really like to look at the art and the games nowadays like the graphics are incredible it just looks like you're watching a movie especially with the cutscenes it's amazing like games now i feel like has changed so much compared to games when like i was a kid which is not that long of a time period because I'm only 22 and I'm not even 22. I'm just turning 22 in like two months. So. Like this is probably one of my favorite books out of all of them. I don't know why. I just really like this art style and this Oh, I just love this game and I was actually debating getting the game because I like the graphics so much but I know it would take me ages to play 
the game like completely from start to finish because I'm so bad. <laughs> So beautiful. So next is this one. When I got this, like compared to some of the other like art books, it's quite thin. So I didn't think it would cover much but it's so good like it's divided into four chapters as it says right here so the first chapter is introduction to architecture the second one is picture making techniques the third one is details and textures and the fourth is creating your own world <laughs> actually like the big scale piece of the front cover and I love this like I really do love this picture it's really nice and I'm really bad at drawing landscapes and buildings and like background scenery like art like mm. my characters never have backgrounds because I'm really bad at drawing like Landscape, city, rooms, everything that has to do with backgrounds and not the actual character, I'm not good at. Then it covers like different cultures and how like the buildings are in these different cultures. Like different architecture styles. Then we have composition and concept, we have a little bit of color theory, we have materials and this one is actually really helpful because it covers a lot of textures, not only wood but metal and everything. Like that's a lot of wood I know but it does have here like stone and brickwork and metals and everything in this book. I just, this is just a really nice book. I really, really like this one. So my last art book is the art of Princess Mononoke and Hayao Miyazaki and just like Studio Ghibli does one of my most favorite movies. I just love the Studio Ghibli movies. And with this one also, I really like to look at these pages because I think I can really learn a lot about painting like landscapes, like even digitally or traditional or whatever. I also really like that it includes the like very loose sketches. like the layout sketches which that's also really interesting for me to see like how the movie came together and then in the end you have like the production diary so that's also a really really cool art book so these are all of my art books. It's not a huge collection, but these are books that I do really like and enjoy to look at. 
and I hope you got some inspiration out of these books and like the video and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!